Welcome back. Yesterday in the story we heard, Susanna Wesley stood up to her husband's assistant when her husband was away on business in London. And uh, she just was so sick and tired of boring, dull, pointless sermons that obviously had no thought behind them, obviously had no real uh, fire in them, obviously had no faith underlying them. Uh, she was listening to a man who didn't know what he needed to say and probably wasn't feeling that he really needed to say anything at all. And she just got so sick and tired of it that she said, oh, forget this. I am not listening to that again. I'm going to go invite all the neighbors, since they weren't going to church, I'm going to go and invite them all to come over to the house tonight, and we'll just have a small prayer meeting together. And uh, 200 people showed up. Well, the curate, the assistant, was not happy about that, and he made a fuss out of it. And she stood up to him on that. But her son Charles later wrote a hymn. And the hymn talked about having such a sense that it was important, that, that we have an important message to share with people. And that if we don't do that, then we are simply not being the people that God has made us to be. That God has said, listen, I've got a job. I've got a charge for you. Um, and, and I want you to do it. And that what we do, we do not just because we want to, but because God has asked us to do it. A sense of responsibility. Uh, Susanna Wesley felt that. She passed it on to her children. And here's a hymn that tries to pass it on to us by Charles Wesley. It goes like this. A charge to keep I have, a God to glorify, a never-dying soul to save and fit it for the sky. To serve the present age, my calling to fulfill. Oh, may it all my powers engage to do my master's will. Help me to watch and pray, and on thyself rely. Assured if I my trust betray, I shall forever die. That's taking things very seriously. But then again, it's serious stuff that God has trusted all of us with. See you tomorrow for our next chapter.